Welcome back to shop, friends. Uh, I've been working on the pedal mechanism of the treadle lathe project this week, and today I'm going to show you how that whole thing works. So in the last episode of the series on how we're building a treadle lathe, we uh, installed the 24-inch uh, uh, treadle wheel, and we fastened it to the uh, metal rod uh, axle using the uh, plumbing flanges and a uh, three through bolt. And this past week, I went ahead and I trim down the uh, the metal rod to the correct uh, length and then I began working on the treadle mechanism. So the first thing I did was I went ahead and dimensioned an offset block of solid oak and I drilled a 5 8, two, actually two 5 8 of an inch holes in the block to house the axle. There is a one and a half inch offset between the two axles allowing the actual mechanism to function. As well as drilling the holes for the axle, drilled two holes um, in the uh, offset block into the axle rods. And I put two threaded inserts in each hole and then I put a uh, screw into each hole and the screw actually goes into the uh, each of the axles to keep them from spinning. The next thing I did was I drilled a half inch hole through each of the legs, the, th the third leg and the second leg, allowing this half inch rod um, to go through each leg and fasten into the third and second leg. And that is what the pedal mechanism actually rotates around. You can see here there is a pressure fitted bearing uh, in the actual pedal itself, allowing the pedal to rotate around the pedal axle. There's two bearings, one here and one here, in the actual pedal allowing it to rotate around the pedal axle. The pedal itself is just made out of some scrap pieces of oak that I dimensioned and formed a square with and then I fastened a piece of oak for the actual pedal step itself. Honestly wasn't sure if the pedal mechanism was going to work so I didn't use any fancy joint or anything. I just used a simple rabbit joint on each corner to allow me to uh, glue the, the, uh, the pedal together and then just put a couple screws in it. The final portion of the pedal mechanism is made up of this linkage arm. I think that's probably a reasonable term for it. I'm not sure if that's the correct term. That actually attaches to the back of the pedal and attaches to the offset axle here on the offset block. I'm using these um, stop collars to prevent the um, linkage arm from sliding off. The linkage arm has a 3 eighths of an inch bearing pressure fit here and a half inch uh, pressure fit bearing here. I put a half inch metal rod in the back portion of the pedal to allow the linkage arm to attach to that. I didn't want the linkage arm to be jerking on just one corner of the pedal. I wanted it to pull on the pedal um, just basically from the back and not just from the corner. So I ran the, the half inch um, metal rod all the way across and it's locked in place with a couple um, stop collars as well. Looking at the back portion of the pedal and you can see the stop collar here keeping the metal rod from actually falling out of the rear of the pedal. There's no bearings here because this uh, metal rod doesn't have to spin at all. The bearing is on the linkage arm allowing that to spin around the metal rod. Here you can see the entire pedal mechanism including the step, the pedal square, the pedal axle, the linkage arm, and also the offset block. For those of you guys that have been following this project, I've been filming the majority of it um, all throughout the process. 
I didn't film much of this portion because honestly I wasn't sure it was even going to work. I wasn't sure if I was going to have to just redo it. So I spent a lot of time trying to figure out the correct offset on the pedal or the uh, the wheel axle and also the length, length of the linkage arm and at what position it should be attached to the pedal itself. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you how this works. I want you to watch how the mechanism, uh, how the pedal transfers the uh, the momentum from the uh, linkage arm to the offset block, and then into the into the actual uh, uh, treadle wheel itself. I get started by just giving it a spin, and for a treadle lathe, you want the wheel to spin um, towards you. That way. Um, it also makes the uh, the headstock uh, pulley turn towards you as well. You should note that I haven't even installed the bearings yet in the uh, in the legs of the uh, the lathe yet. So um, the 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 treadle wheel axle is actually rotating um, just in the wood itself. So uh, it's turning really 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 smoothly. I think even without the axles, but it should get even better once the uh, once the uh, the bearings are uh, installed. I'm going to put a piece of blue tape here on the uh, the treadle wheel so we can see if we can figure out how many times um, the the wheel is turning per minute. We'll start now. So I was having trouble actually counting, but I think I counted somewhere around 26. So uh, 26 for 15 seconds. So if we do the math, um, we'll do uh, 26 times four. So that's about 104 revolutions per minute. And then um, we're gonna have a 24 inch diameter treadle wheel in a three inch diameter um, headstock pulley, so that's a 24 to 3 ratio. So we'll multiply that by 8 and we're getting uh, revolutions per minute of the actual uh, turning portion of the lathe at 832. And that's without even having the, uh, the bearings installed yet in the, uh, in the post. So I think we probably will be able to get upwards of a thousand revolutions per minute. So this is what I've come up with for the uh, the treadle lathe uh, uh, pedal mechanism. Um, I haven't been able to find any plans, so I really came up with most of this. Um, I was able to use the same ratio uh, that was used in the um, book "Make Your Own Treadle Lathe" by Steve Smeck. He used the uh, one inch and a quarter ratio for his lathe as well. I don't know how well you can see on the video, but um, he has a, um, a linkage arm attached to just a piece of lumber that he, he steps on to power his. I wanted something a little bit more, um, um, I don't know, I guess I was shooting for something that was a little bit more permanent um, and something a, just a little bit bulkier um, so I, I went with this this mechanism. I don't know if this is the right the way to do it, but this is the way that I've come up with. I'd like to hear uh, everyone's um, opinions on how they would have actually um, assembled their pedal. Um, should we have put the uh, pedal axle farther back in the lathe to give the uh, 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 more downward thrust? 
should we have changed the position of the linkage arm? Um, I think there's a lot of different ways we could have done this, and this is the way that I chose to do it. So anyways, I wanted to bring you guys up to speed on um, how I have assembled the, uh, the, the pedal mechanism for the lathe. Um, not too much woodworking today because I really wanted to spend the time to, uh, to kind of discuss the way I did this. So thanks again for watching. Be sure to leave a thumbs up and be sure to leave me a comment on what you think about the, uh, the pedal mechanism. And uh, we'll see you on the next video as we go ahead and break things down and start getting everything ready for final uh, assembly.